At the time that I'm recording this, we are in the middle of a global crisis. People are being made redundant. Their lives have been put on hold. And so they're wondering how to start an online business so that they can have that consistent income and so they know what's gonna be happening with their future. And just 50 years ago, this wouldn't be an option. People would have had to have taken the loss. People would have been stuck with a lack of control of their lives. But thanks to the internet, this is more possible than ever. And while the rest of the world is putting their lives on pause, you have the opportunity and the ability to get your business started online. And having been featured by Forbes magazine and Yahoo Finance as one of the top entrepreneurs, and having now helped hundreds of people all around the world build their own online business, I thought this would be a really good idea for me to make a video on what I would do if I had to start my business again right now with everything that is going on. And so now that I have two seven figure businesses, I have learned a lot. And so I'm gonna be sharing that with you in this video today. And I'm even gonna be letting you know about a brand new free program that I have that helps you get your online business started, running and profitable the right way. And because of everything that's going on, I've decided that I'm actually gonna give this away to you for free. And so I wanna get straight into this and I also want to let you know that what I'm sharing isn't just based on my personal preferences, it's also based on having interviewed dozens of seven, eight, nine, and 10 figure entrepreneurs for my podcast, Impact Schools Podcast, okay? So with that said, let's dive straight into it and I'm gonna reveal the four things. So the first thing that I'm gonna reveal is the business model, then I'm gonna reveal the people that I would serve after that, I'm going to go with the way that I would sell to them. And then finally, I'll talk about what I would actually invest in and how I'd spend my time. So my money and my time, what I'd invest in there. So first up, let's start with the business model that I'd go with. So I would not waste time on physical products. So I've had some bad experiences there. I know a lot of people that have lost a lot of money and the profit margins with physical products are really, really low. Not only that, but with China cutting exports, we've seen how in times of crisis, having a physical product business is really, really tough. I have a lot of friends who are e-commerce entrepreneurs who have lost a lot of money and they're actually considering starting a brand new service-based business because they know that having a digital supply chain is much easier to control than having a physical supply chain. There's so many moving parts there. So I would definitely go with an online service-based business. And so when it comes to that, there are multiple different models that you can select from. You can do online courses, you can do info products, you can do eBooks and you can do coaching and consulting and marketing agencies. There are so many different things to choose from. So what would I choose? Well, I definitely wouldn't waste my time on an ebook or just an online course. Because when I was first starting out, I created a $50 ebook. And at this point, I already had around 80,000 followers on Instagram. And yeah, for sure, I made some decent money, but it wasn't consistent and it wasn't predictable. And so therefore, it wasn't a sustainable business model. I know that I would wanna build something that is recession proof and crisis proof. So what would that be? Well, I would focus heavily on taking my existing experience, my existing knowledge, and I would package that up into an online transformative program. So for me, in the past, if I was starting again straight from scratch, I would take my knowledge that I had in fitness because I'd lost weight in a really unhealthy way, then I figured out how to do it healthily. So I would take that knowledge that I had there and then I would turn that in to an online program and sell it for a high price point because I would want to know that all of my efforts in my marketing and my sales that I'll be talking about later in the video, I'd wanna know that each time I made a sale, I would have a good stream of income. So I would have predictability and certainty and know that what I'm doing is actually changing people's lives. Because yeah, like if I was starting out again, I would strongly focus on something that changes people's lives so that I build a really good reputation. And the cool thing as well about selling something that is high priced is that when people pay, they pay attention. So people get better results, which means that you get better referrals, you get better testimonials, and everything just is a snowball effect and it spirals and it allows you to build a seriously good business. Well, now that I've used the example of fitness, I'm gonna continue that throughout this video and move on to point number two, which is the people that I would serve. Cause I want to wrap 
the business model in with this point number two about the people that I would serve because if I'm going with a high price online program then the people that I would serve especially during these times is gonna be people who have the ability and the funds to pay for something right so I having been to dozens of events and spoken on a lot of stages all around the world with entrepreneurs online entrepreneurs specifically they love to spend money they love spending money, okay? Because they always say that people that are good at sales are people that also buy things easily. And online entrepreneurs, they absolutely love spending money. So with that ideal client in mind, the online entrepreneur, I would then make sure that the actual product that I'm selling was catered to them. So if I was in fitness with the example that I previously used, normally I might have just picked, you know, helping women lose 20 pounds or something. But in this case, with the online entrepreneur, I would take their situation into account, whereby they're probably stressed, they probably have a lot going on. So I would come up with a fitness program that helps them shed 10 pounds, let's say, while also allowing them to be more productive and therefore make more money in their business. So then that brings me into my third point, which is how I would actually go ahead and sell it and market it. I would sell based upon that specific outcome of telling them, hey, with more energy, you're gonna be able to make more money in your business. And then that means that you're gonna be more productive, more efficient, more effective in the time that you spend with your business. So you can actually get some of your time back, have more free time to chill, spend with your family, and that is the sales method that I would use. But not just that, because obviously that can be your marketing angle. But in order to sell something that is a high price to this audience specifically, you need to get in front of them. Ads won't work for them. Facebook ads, things like, you know, trying to spam on social media. These things just don't work when it comes to selling high priced online programs. It's all relationship based. Selling online coaching, online consulting, is all about building up a relationship. So how do you build a relationship up? How do you even get in front of these people? Well, what I would do is I would want to automate part of the process, maybe through a software or through having a virtual assistant on my team. But when starting out brand new from scratch, I would do it all myself and I would go ahead and I would just send direct messages to these people and really nurture their relationship. I'd also go and try and find their personal emails and send them emails that are based on value. And since the time of recording this, I actually came up with an idea which probably would be the thing that I actually go ahead and do. So it's much easier to bundle something up and then to sell it to other businesses who are already established, who already have money coming in, than to sell to just an individual person based upon their individual need. So this may not make sense to you right now because you may think, well, the only person that could use my service is the end user. However, think about it this way. Let's say you're a nutritionist, right? And you have all these skills and all this knowledge in nutrition. Or let's say you're a graphic designer. Well, for example, you could then, as a nutritionist, go and find established online coaches who already have a load of clients and you could say to them, look, I am willing to come in and do all of the nutrition for all of your clients for like a hundred bucks per client per month or whatever amount per client per month plus a re monthly retainer of one grand or something. Or if you are a graphic designer, you could say, okay, look, rather than me going to the end user, I'm gonna go to other businesses maybe who do online business coaching like my business and say, hey, if you want to offer graphic design work to your clients, I'm happy to do it for just a hundred bucks per client per month, something like that. Because then what you're doing is you're going to businesses that are already existing and already established who already have clients which means they already have the capital to pay you immediately while giving extra value to their clients because you can market your service in the sense of that okay well you don't want your clients to leave so this is something that you could offer to your clients and you can also say to them if you were doing nutrition plus the workouts that you're already doing that would allow you to charge a higher price point so even if you're paying me just a hundred dollars per month you could charge your clients an extra 200 per month for example okay so essentially what I'm getting at is find existing businesses think how could my skill set 
be implemented into these existing businesses right now and how can I make my offer really really valuable and really clear so that it makes sense for them to do it because ultimately right now businesses they do need to retain their clients and so if a fitness coach for example was able to partner with a nutritionist that would be an amazing way for the fitness coach to maintain their clients despite the fact that all the gyms are open okay so that's what I would do and I just think it's a really nice way because it means that the you are not gonna be selling directly to the consumer, you'll be selling to established businesses and making it clear as to why it would be such a valuable thing for them. So yeah, that's probably what I would honestly do right now. As someone who isn't a nutritionist, what I would do is I'd probably, let's say I couldn't do business anything in business, right? But I would probably take my skills that I already have right now as a qualified personal trainer from back in the day, I'd go and find some nutritionists and I would say to them, hey, look, I'm a personal trainer. I can do online programs and everything for your nutrition clients so that during this time they can continue working out from their home. And I would do something along those lines or I'd go ahead and I'd find therapists. Just think, whose clients need my help? And how can I get to the business owner? Because then ultimately you only have to make one sale rather than selling to all the clients, right? You just make the one sale to the business owner, get your idea across. And as long as you make it clear that the value is gonna be good for the business owner and for the business owner's clients, then you should have no problem. And that will allow you to continue bringing money in. And this is actually a really good high ticket model to allow you to continue through these tough times. But with that said, I know that with these four steps and with the Impact MBA, you are gonna be able to build your online business. So this is what I would do. I'd create a high priced online program based on my experience. I would then sell it to people who are willing and able to afford it and who really, really need it. Because during times of crisis, people that just kind of want something aren't gonna be investing. And then I would make sure that I'm selling it in a relationship based manner. And then I would invest time, energy, and effort into one strategy that is going to allow me to scale. And I would make sure that I'm strongly investing in my business. I wouldn't waste time on investing in Facebook ads. I wouldn't waste time investing in YouTube ads. I wouldn't waste time investing in all of these different methods of marketing. I would invest time in my business through getting one strategy which works. So with that said, that's the model that I would go down and because I know that having been at all these events with all of these entrepreneurs, they love to spend money, they love to invest in these type of things, they love to support small businesses and coaches. And similarly, with that said, I also know that selling something that is high priced based on your experience, the supply chain is so small, it means that it's just focused on you and what you wanna do. You can sell things before you've created them as well. That's what I would go ahead and do. I'd get some clients before I'd even built any of it because I didn't wanna waste time on all of that. That's how I would go ahead and do this. I hope this has been helpful for you. Make sure to sign up to the Impact MBA. Just make sure to subscribe to the channel as well and I'll see you in the next video and inside of the Impact MBA start date is going to be 2nd of April. We may run it again in the future, who knows? Just click the link even if you're watching this way in the future and I'll see you there. Goodbye.